Hey, Dave. Thanks so much. Very excited to be chatting about your new book, The Super Guide. Now, before we dive into uh, the book, tell me, when and how did you first learn about Superbase? Thanks for being here, or thanks for letting me be here. Um, and about that question, it's actually not so easy because I actually did get in touch with one of the support engineers only to get to know when I actually joined Superbase in the sense of um, when I when I created my account. And for me, it feels like, actually it feels like 10 years, <laughs> but that's impossible. So um, apparently I registered the account at uh, somewhat 2021, but I know for a fact that I've been watching Superbase in 2020 already and somehow back then on twitter i just saw the post from superbase and i don't i i don't even know why they popped up in my timeline but they did i mean you never know what the algo does so and i found it interesting i found that approach so interesting because i've always refrained from using Firebase for the sole reason that it doesn't meet my philosophy. I don't like to be locked in, even though I think it's a great product. So don't get me wrong, but I don't like to be locked in. So Superbase seemed to be like a perfect fit and I just couldn't believe they'll make it open source. So yeah, it, it was probably about around 2020 when I heard about it and 2021 when I actually got an account. Nice. Uh, it looks like our Twitter marketing strategy somehow worked out <laughs> and we it did. reached you. Fantastic. So now it's 2024 and you know people don't even read the documentation anymore. They just use AI chatbots and you know fire away their questions. Why did you decide to write a book now? Yeah, that's a great question actually. And it actually reminds me back then when I had been coding for eight years or so. And I asked myself, why should I go to university? It, it kind of is the same question, kind of, because the answer is very similar. I was like, I probably won't need this. But I just decided to give it a try. And like, it was so, so worth it. Because you get like the foundation, the foundational knowledge, not just like, it's not like I couldn't have done great stuff without going to university. But now it's like, I know the foundation. So uh, I really know how things work internally. And I am able to build so so much more. And I just think books are a very great way to actually understand things. Because when you use AI, for example, also when I'm like using Kubernetes and I'm missing something in my setup and I just go ahead and ask Claude, then I'll get an answer, but I can't be so 100% sure if this is what I should be using. You know, like it will just propose something that might work, but I don't know the background of it. And this book is deeply researched which means like I tested all of that stuff, like I dig deep into GitHub issues. And I just think even nowadays, let's compare it to a, rockets, uh, a space rocket ship engineer. If someone would want to create a space rocket or like get the rocket into space, you probably wouldn't come so, so far with AI. You would probably have to learn the basics and the physics behind it. And and this is what a hopefully great book does. And this is why I decided to write the book. And I learned so, so much just writing that book. And I think it's really worth it because, yes, it will take time. And that's very important. It will take time to read this book and to understand what's going on. But afterwards, you will have so much aha effects and you will just understand what's actually going on in Superbase, which also will allow you to contribute, by the way. That's a good point, yeah. Because, you know, AI might just give you an answer, but you don't even know, you know, why it's working. So yeah. it's good to have kind of that, that foundational knowledge. So then maybe can you tell us kind of, you know, what topics do you cover in the book? Uh, I've read it. It's very long. It's very extensive. 
So maybe you can just give us a quick rundown of like, you know, what people know after they've read the book. Yeah. So what I like to tell about this book when people ask me about that is you'll know everything that you need to know about Superbase. So that's the short answer. Like literally you'll know everything that you need to know to like grow any project. But how is that achieved is maybe interesting because I asked myself, like, will I just throw knowledge out there? But that's like documentation. So I didn't want to do that because I wanted people to understand things. So I decided to build a project. So I had to choose a framework. So this book is Next.js based. And along this project, you're going to create a ticket management system, a simple one, but it's a ticket management system and we'll also go one step further by actually creating a multi-tenancy ticket ticketing system. So you'll learn about security such as RLS, you'll learn about how to deal with file storage, you learn about um, how you can actually optimize queries. And all of this is just connected with each other. So it's not loose knowledge, but it's it's just like one project where you go like, okay, uh huh. So that that is how it works. And the interesting part is in the beginning, I also focus a lot on the theory. So the first chapter is basically not project based, but it's a little bit about the history, but also very much about how the Superbase infrastructure actually is built. And then coming back to the very end, there's also the last two chapters, which actually do cover some extensive ad additional knowledge, such as how would I create an AI-based search? So if I had to summarize it, it, it really covers all of what you could imagine to learn about Superbase. Fantastic. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's very extensive. Um, uh, I read it and I was like, wow. Uh, and I really do like the way that you you explain. Uh, so it reads it reads really well. Thanks a bunch. Brilliant. So now you know Superbase is shipping quickly. We're on like launch week twelve now um, that you're publishing this book. Um, you know things are changing, new things are coming. How do you kind of plan on keeping the book up to date? That's a great question. It really is because it's also the question. Um, that I fear the most, so to speak. I feared like, how is it gonna be? What will launch week bring? Will this book be outdated the time I'm publishing it? But actually, I think this fear doesn't make so much sense given how the book is written. Because you're not planning to do breaking changes all of the time. You're not planning to like, for example, you just basically refactored, so to speak, the, no, I wouldn't call it refactored, you just improved real time, but without breaking changes. And even that one, by the way, <laughs> even even though it wasn't published at the point of the book, like I uh, already provided the information for that. So um, the thing is, I don't think that the book will be even outdated in like two years, no matter how fast you ship, simply because you cannot do these massive breaking changes because then it would be like, like people would just be frustrated by the fact that they have to adapt their whole code base. So this is unlikely to happen. What will happen is that you add additional great features and I think it should be very doable to just add them to the book, especially to the ebook version, because mm -hmm. with the book, there's going to come a QR code where you can also download the ebook. That's awesome. Now, and you know, there's always time for a second book <laughs> if needed. Sure. But you bring up a good point. You know, a lot of it is actually, you know, Postgres foundational knowledge. And, you know, Postgres has been around for 30 plus years. So, Right. This is very much very good foundational knowledge to have. And, um, and that that's that's also one of the reasons why people love to use it. I mean, I mean, I love to use Superbase simply because of that fact. Like you kind of apply the same. I'm not sure if it still is in the guidelines of React, but they had some kind of code design guidelines where they said like it was something like 
we don't want to do breaking changes. We know this is used by enterprises. So we really take care of not having too much breaking changes. And this is how I feel also super base moves. So yeah. The, and, 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 and with that in mind, again, it's unlikely that the book will get outdated very soon. True. That's awesome. Now, yes, I hope everyone is very excited. Um, now, apart from buying the book, you know, what's one tip that you give to aspiring software engineers? Understanding. Understanding things, wanting to understand things. That's always been my, that's always been my, yeah, that's always been my special tip, actually, because I, I know people want to move fast. I can totally understand. And I, I'm getting FOMO as well. I, I, I'm just honest. Like, I'm getting FOMO if I see people. If I see you, like, <laughs> just creating another project and, like, another video, I'm like, how does he do that? I'm like, the fuck, I'm so slow. Um, but is is like I I just can't live with the with the idea of not knowing what's going on because I also see what this leads to, for example. And this isn't this isn't just Superbase. I'm just mentioning this because because we're talking about Superbase. But I've seen quite some Superbase based projects that had some let's say severe issues which wasn't Superbase related at all. It was simply related to the fact that there was no proper foundation. That's it. Like they just copied some code from somewhere and there was no proper foundation. And you can copy code. That's not a problem. But you should try to understand this. Like you should try to understand what you're copying. Why are you copying this and why does it work? And this is a really great tip to grow and to really, really, really become an expert. And this is very useful in the long run. Yeah, I think that's that's my thing. I'm not an expert. I just, I copy the code, it runs, it makes a good video. <laughs> and then we're lucky, we're lucky to have you to actually dig into it and really go deep. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Dave. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, everything you do for Superbase and yeah, please, everyone, um, do check out the new Superdart Guide. Uh, it really is a fantastic resource if you want to understand Superbase. Thank you Dave. so much. And also, obviously, thank you, a big, big thank you to the community because like, I've, I've had so much positive feedback and it's just great and it keeps me going. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Dave. Cheers.